Hello fellow high blood pressure warriors. In this video, I'm going to talk about whether or not drinking coffee affects your blood pressure. Coffee is one of the most popular drinks in the world, but if you suffer from high blood pressure, you need to be aware of its pros and cons. Whether you need to cut back depends on how much coffee you consume and how your body reacts to caffeine. The caffeine in your coffee is what drives up your blood pressure. Caffeine is what spikes your blood pressure immediately after drinking a cup of coffee. This elevation in your blood pressure often lasts for about three hours afterward. The caffeine in your coffee could cause your arteries to narrow down slightly, causing the spike in your blood pressure. It's also possible that caffeine increases the release of adrenaline, and this could also increase blood pressure. The good news is, even if your blood pressure does increase when you drink coffee, it doesn't last long. Another fact about caffeine is that it works differently with different levels of exposure. If you consume a cup about once a month, you might see the short-term spike in your blood pressure. But if you've been waking up and drinking a cup of coffee every single morning, you might not see any changes in your readings. The reason is, that when your body is fed with caffeine regularly, it develops a certain level of tolerance towards the chemical. And because your body gets used to it, it doesn't affect you much. If your blood pressure is already high, it's better not to start drinking coffee. You should wait a while for your blood pressure to come back down before you have another cup of coffee. Now, this isn't much of a concern if you've already been a regular coffee drinker before you were diagnosed with high blood pressure. There are other components in coffee that actually make it a healthy drink. Certain bioactive compounds such as trigonaline and diterpenes and phenolic compounds are responsible for reducing oxidative stress in your body. Oxidative stress could be detrimental for your heart health and could cause atherosclerosis. This is a disease that causes plaque to build up and constrict your arteries. It could also lead to or worsen hypertension. Reduction of oxidative stress is crucial and coffee helps your body to reduce oxidative stress. It could be said that drinking coffee regularly may indirectly prevent high blood pressure. This brings us to an important question. How much coffee should a regular drinker consume? While there's no fixed rule, consuming anything between one and two cups per day is generally considered safe. But remember, the amount of caffeine varies between different coffee brands. On the average, a cup of coffee includes around 95 milligrams of caffeine, but could include up to as much as 500 milligrams of caffeine, depending on the brand. For those who drink coffee regularly, you should be aware that even about two cups of coffee could cause both the upper and lower numbers to spike up a bit. And if your blood pressure is already high, you might want to think twice before having that cup of coffee. Whether you choose to drink coffee or not, it's just one part of your overall plan for lowering your blood pressure. Just be wise about your health and how that cup of coffee will affect your blood pressure before you choose to drink it. Now, if you suffer from high blood pressure and you drink coffee, I'm curious to know how it's affected your blood pressure. Let me know down in the comments below. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you wanna receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.